final two games of the season and a win in either one will secure one of the objectives that the supporters club set at the start of the season. Hello and welcome to Club 2, episode 3 of Half Star to 5 Star here on Football Manager 23. I'm Russ Cup. Today we have the final two games of the season. The first one is a game in hand against uh, away to Eastbourne Borough and then we are home to Barrow on the final day of the season. Since you guys were last with us, we drew with uh, Fylde. We lost to Eastleigh 3-0. Uh, we then beat Dorkin 4-1 and Aldershot 4-0 at our ground. Leaves us 12th in the table, 5 points clear of 13th and 14th. So... They're the only two teams that are going to catch us. We do want to finish in the top half of the season, get the supporters behind us. That's where they're expecting us to finish. So a win is definitely going to get us out there. Um, two wins is going to push us towards the eighth, ninth maybe finishing this season. So hopefully we can deliver that there. Transfer-wise, we have got a few players joining us. We'll go into more depth in the season review when they do finally join us. So the team we're going to be putting out there to face Eastbourne is Rosengol, a back four of Taylor, Hull, Malachy and Barrows, Lindstrom and Alcock in midfield, Walker, Goldsmith and Reed supporting Hewton up front. First highlight is us pushing the ball forward. Reed's picked up the ball and he's been fouled. We've got free kicker. Is that going to be a straight red? He's gone to his pocket and it is a straight red. Four minutes on the clock. Eastbourne are down to ten men. We need to take advantage of this one now. Going to change the mentality. Well, we'll change it after this highlights. Ball gets pushed forward. Hole's got his head onto it, trying to find Goldsmith. Alcock's got it. Reed out on that right hand side now. Freds it through to Hewton. He's gone into the box. He's got no support at the moment. Goes on his own. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. We have a corner. Hopefully, we can make the extra man count uh, with the corner now. It's going to be put in from Taylor. He's aiming towards that back post from Maliki as Maliki heads it over. Let's change that mentality then. Let's go attack him. Not only have we changed the mentality, we changed the tactic as well. We've gone with three up front. They're playing quite narrow and deep. So I thought if we match them, we can uh, possibly beat them with the extra men up, for, up front. Hole's got the wall. Pushing it forward. It's not 20 of our strikers though. Eastbourne pushing it back into their defence over the top. We need to watch the players. We have them. We've got a head to it, but we've lost the ball again. Great challenge. Alcock's got the ball now. So we need to get our attackers going forward. We have. Oh, we just can't find Houston. It was a poor pass. Eastbourne get the ball back to their goalkeeper. Lundstrom with a big head into Reed. He goes back to Barrows on that right hand side. He's, uh, he's got some space to work into. Can he find a good pass or a good cross into the box? He plays it into Reed. Read back to Barrows. Barrows now puts it into the box with Walker's head. It's been cleared. Taylor picks up. Acrobatic bicycle kick there. Nothing's come of it though. He's hit the crossbar and gone over. Taylor with a free kick. Ah, he's trying to whip it round. He's found Walker. Ah, he's, he tried to be cute with that ball and just play it across the line. The Eastbourne goalkeeper was uh, he's quite alert and picked the ball up. Free kick for Eastbourne. It's been floated over and they've headed over as well. I think that's their first opportunity towards goal as well. We'll have a look at the match stats when they come up. Yeah, it was. It needs to be a little bit more threatening. We need that end product, don't we? That venom. Goal kick for Eastbourne. That gets put forward. Alcock with the head into Reed. We've lost the ball. They're trying down the left-hand side now. Reed's tracking back. Forcing the ball over the top. It's into the box. Rowe should easily pick this ball up. Can he get a counter-attack going quickly? He's not. He's waiting. It's a big lump forward. That's ah, absolutely nobody. Eastbourne have got it back to their goalkeeper. Now they're playing it forward. Hold the big head into Goldsmith. Walker. Hewton. Back to Walker. Goldsmith. Releases Reed. Ah, oh, Reed's put it straight at the goalkeeper. It's a shot on target, but he needs to be a little bit more clinical than that. He's our top goal scorer as well. Taylor with a free kick here. Aims it towards the back post where Malik is and a good save from the keeper. It's another shot on target. Is he waiting to release their players? It looks like he is. Big goal kick going forward. He's got four players around the player. We've managed to get it clear. Trying to find Reed on that left, that right hand side, sorry. Alcock's got his head, but it's only to an Eastbourne player. He's got no player, so he's had to go back just for now. Working it through the midfield, out to that right-hand side. Taylor's come across. 
We've not won the ball back. Now we have Maliki into Taylor. Taylor over the top. Hewton's just he's just not there. Poor passing option there. Walker over the top trying to find Hewton. Now we find Hewton. He's got Reed on the right if he needs him. Doesn't look like he does though. And he just left foot into the top. Of, well, to say the top corner into the top of the net. Altering on one. Eastbourne nil. 37 minutes on the clock. Looks like we're going to register that top uh, top half table finish. I think our defenders can deal with these lofted balls. maliki has got his head into Reed. All cocks with the ball. Back to Reed. Releasing Walker on that left hand side. I think he was on side. Can he find a cross? He does into Goldsmith. Oh, and it sneaks in. We find our second goal three, uh, two, well, three or two minutes after the other goal goes in. 2-0 to us now. Corner for Eastbourne Borough. First of the second half, uh, highlight-wise. We've got it clear. Walker's bicycle kick trying to clear that ball. It's the second time we've seen that in this match. Eastbourne working it back into the centre now. We're still in our half. Can we get the ball, get a counter-attack going? The shifts it out onto that right-hand side. A player's got to be offside, hasn't he? Edge of the box. Into the box now. Oh, we've not been not been watching any of the players. We've conceded a sloppy goal. 2-1 now. We've got a throw in. Taylor on the left-hand side. Into Walker. Plays it to Walcock. Back to Lundstrom. Walcock plays it over to Barrows on the right-hand side. Oh, he beats his man quite easy. Uh, ran in, I thought he ran into a little bit of a, a bit of a coldy sack. Then Ch Charlie Goldsmith has a shot. The keeper's absolutely spilled it and it's gone into the back of the net. It's his second of the game and our third. 3-1 now. Three minutes of time added on at the end of this match. We have secured that top half finish now. Uh, looks like this might be the final highlight. For, like, Ten seconds left on the clock as uh, Eastbourne come at us. They're in there half in, towards the centre. Uh, what are we doing? What... Uh, Comical defending that is. I bet at least a goal. No, it's a good save from Rose. Taylor gets it clear. What were we thinking? We're just letting the man run through us. Uh, the match does end. 3-1 to us. I am happy, but is it quite a few defensive errors we're making at the moment. Let's move on to that Barrow game then. So there's confirmation that we have achieved uh, the top half finish. Uh, the board wants to do it in three years' time. So we're three years ahead of the schedule there. And the supporters were on schedule with them. So... Both are happy if we have a look at the club vision. A plus from the board and B from the supporter. So what are they not happy about? Martin Smith's performance. 3-0 loss to Eastley and the 1-0 loss to Bournemouth. You can't win every game though, can you? So if they're going to be a little bit annoyed that we lose games and reflect that on us, um, so be it. As long as the board's happy with us, that's, that's all I care about really. Right, the team we're putting out there for the final game of the season against Barrow is Rosengall, a back four of Brook, Brockbank, Baines, Hull and Barrows, Lundstrom and Osborne in the centre of midfield, Hill, Goldsmith and Kaya supporting Hewton up front. This will be Kaya's last game for us as well. He's going to be going back to Albania in the summer. We are going to be keeping an eye on the Chippenham game. Somehow Chippenham have been caught up by Weston and Dartford. So if Dartford are beaten, they're going to finish above Chippenham. Uh, Dartford are beating them 1-0 now. Um, all that hard work that we put in when we were there. Look, seems to be... Uh, seems to have been undone uh, there. Weston, I don't know if they're home or away in their tie. Uh, they are... By looks things away, but I can't see where they are. But yeah, Chippenham are losing. They're going to lose the league. Uh, it seems like they're going to be the team that's going to stay... Uh, stay in that division but although they have pulled one goal back in this match nothing's really happened in the first 25 minutes we've had four shots two on target Barra have had two one of those have been on target we've got free kick here Osborne puts it in I, oh it's gone in Jake Hall has managed to head the ball into the back of the net I wasn't watching where the ball went I was watching the players we take the lead on the 28th minute come on boys where's that going to put us into the table it's going to push us up to war where we're ninth. So, yeah, the, the, the support is going to be happy with this. The ball's going to be happy with it as well. Hole's got the ball. Plays it into Barrows. Osborne. Some nice passing. Kaya's oh, loose pass there. As uh, Barrow managed to sneak for our defenders. We need to watch the ball. It's a poor shot anyway. It's gone wide. So, looking over at the scores here. Weston are winning. So, Weston's going to win that league. Osborne puts the ball in towards Hole. Hole gets his second of the match. 
I'm so glad we're signing him next season as well. We're only paying a thousand pounds for him as well. Two nils, Waltrincham. Uh, Barrow's goalkeeper have this ball, or has this ball. Sorry, it's a big kick forward. Our defenders need to deal with when they have Baines is headed uh, headed into Osborne back to Barrow's. He's been dispossessed. Uh, Barrow come at us on that left hand side. They're in the box. They're going to put it over the Av. And they put it into the back of the net just for half time as well. We've got two minutes, well, 25 seconds left to go. Altrincham 2, Barrow 1. I think the half time whistle is going to go now, and it has 2 1. Alex Reed's come on for this second half for Hill. Hill had picked up a knock at some point during the match, so we took him off as a precaution. Because Baines has got a free kick here. Pays it into Reed. Back to Baines. Over to Hull. Lundstrom. Hewton. And he, I thought Hewton lost the ball. Well, he has lost it now. He's on the left-hand side with Barrow. It's where the goal came from last time. Osborne steps across to win the ball. Barrows plays it forward. Trying to find Hewton. who's not there. That's a big ball forward. And we've let the player go through us. And luckily, luckily he's put it wide. Corner for Barrow. That gets put in. Can we deal with it? We don't. And we've conceded a second goal in this match. 2-2 now. Routine corner. The player just steps across, heads it in. Goalkeeper, he didn't really react to it. Five minutes of time added on at the end of this match. Looks like we're going to be finishing in 10th spot. Which is quite good. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Considering where we took over, where I was thinking we are going to be ending up finishing. Looks like Western have what uh, Chippenham have won the league. Sorry. Uh, Dover taking the lead over West uh, Western. There goes full-time whistle in our match. We do draw 2-2. Two -two. Pretty good end to the season for us. Just need to build on this now for next season. We'll have a look at the final league table when it comes up here. So, uh, 10th place, 68 points. Goal difference of plus 15. We did well. Um, that's all I can say, really. We have done well. We need to build on this team, though. Hopefully, for next season, we can finish towards the playoffs. And I uh, might have my voice back for the next one. So if you guys enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, thank you very much for watching.